Hello, Jim Townsend again. Townsend.b if you wish to get to my website. And um, there's links from uh, Townsend.b to all of my other uh, websites and many of the things that I talk about. <coughs> Divide and conquer. Is that how you take over the world? Divide and conquer. One uh, good way to divide people is um, through racial prejudice. I believe there's only one race, and I believe people are all the same hue. They're all red hue. They're either a tint or a shade of a red hue. Anybody that's watched a few of my videos knows that's my belief. So I say to myself, where does racism come from? Well, the oldest book that I can find that is extremely racist is this one right here. Okay. Not the New Testament, but the Old Testament. You see, the Old Testament is the Torah. Now, it's a Jewish word. It means the law. See, Judaism is not a religion. It's a system of banking laws. It's a system of global oppression. And then we have the New Testament. The New Testament is a complete refutation of the Old, uh, of the Old Testament. Jesus stood up against the Jews. He stood up against the, San, the Sanhedrin. And he said, no, no, you're all wrong in your racial superiority. We have the Sanhedrin on the on the face of the earth today, they're called Kehillahs. Every country that you go into has a Canadian Jewish Congress and they've got their little Kehillah and they run everything, or Canadian Jewish Congress, American Jewish Congress, if you really want to know what these Jewish Congresses are all about, take a look at the Russian Jewish Congress. I think the guy that was running that is now wanted globally, isn't he? And goes out, runs off over to Israel to hide. See, when all of these art students came over to uh, the United States and, uh, and uh, were going in and spying on all of the different um, uh, government agencies. They arrested over 200 uh, Israeli art students and turned out they were all working for the Mossad and stuff like that and they shipped them all back to Israel. It's just like the five dancing Israelis that they saw on the van um, uh, at, whenever the WTC uh, fell. Well, those guys all got shipped right back to Israel. None of them did any time. And you can go on to YouTube. They even have uh, videos of uh, those guys going back to Israel where they were hailed as great heroes and given TV interviews and stuff like that. And one fellow says something very interesting. He says, oh, no, we didn't have anything to do with the WTC. We were just there to film the event. Mm -hmm. yeah, sounds like we didn't have anything to do with it. Well, why do I talk about Jews and racism. Well, you see this here. This is a little quotation that I've read you before. This from the Society for Distributing Hebrew Scriptures. You see, forced religion and legislation they come and smash a country. Then they give everybody their Bibles to mind manipulate them. And then they bring in their uh, the criminal code, the rule of lawyers. The rule of law is a complete canard. It's bullshit. Free men are not ruled. Free, free men are self-governing. I've got to get in my little jibes all the time now. At any rate, I want to read you this. It says, Dear Sir or Madam, the Holy Scriptures, both Old and New Testaments, were given to the world through the Jewish people. The world, therefore, owes them a very great debt. For wherever these Scriptures have come, they have brought blessings of life, joy, and peace. Is it not sad to find in this 20th century so few Jews are familiar with their own book, the greatest contribution to the welfare of humanity? What a load of nonsense. That Bible is a hideous thing, and it's been causing, uh, uh, it's been causing divisions amongst society for, uh, for generations and generations. Now, in my book that I wrote, Without Prejudice, I quote from the Bible. So I wanted to read you a couple quotations from the Bible here, and we can see if uh, uh, a few things fit. Deuteronomy 20, 10 to 16. When you march up to attack a city, make its people an offer of peace. If they accept and open their gates, all the people in it shall be subject to forced labor and shall work for you. Now, this is advocating slavery, okay, which is a crime against humanity, okay. If they refuse to make peace and engage you in battle, lay siege to that city. When the Lord your God delivers it into, into your hand, put to the sword all the men in it. Uh-oh, murder. Now, you look at the Canadian Criminal Code, uh, um, uh, definition of, uh, uh, of genocide there and what it says about um, uh, making plans to uh, kill people and all that other sort of stuff. I'll dig it out and uh, read it uh, for you later. But this is clearly telling people to go and murder. And do people actually believe this and follow up? Well, we'll see that too. As for the women, the children, the livestock and any everything else in the city, you may take these as plunder for yourself 
and you may use the plunder the Lord God gives you from your enemies. This is how you are to treat all the cities that are at a distance from you and do not belong to the nations nearby. However, in the cities of the Lord, the, the nations the Lord your God is giving you as an inheritance, do not leave alive anything that breathes. Now, doesn't that sound like life in, in, in Palestine to you? You know, who are the British? British, it's a Hebrew term, meaning people of the covenant. You see, the British long ago took over England, and then they used England as a stepping stone to go back in and try and smash uh, and, and regain, uh, uh, regain Israel. That's why they went on those crusades. These world wars, they're just a continuation of the same old garbage, the same old crusades. And I'm going to tell you something. That land was never is Israeli land in the first place. Even when Jacob the liar laid his head on the rock when he was uh, running away from home because his brother wanted to kill him, he dreamed that God gave him that land. And that land then was called the land of Canaan. It wasn't Israeli land, it wasn't Jewish land, it was the land of Canaan. Canaan. And now it's Palestinian land that these people are um, uh, going after. Here's Deuteronomy 20, 17 to 20. No Israelite man or woman is to become a shrine prostitute. You must not bring the earnings of a female prostitute or of a male prostitute into the house of the Lord your God to pay any vow, because the Lord detests them both. Do not charge your brother interest, whether on money or food or anything else that may earn interest. You may charge a foreigner interest, but not a brother Israelite, so that the Lord your God may bless you in everything you put your hand into in the land you are entering into possess. So God tells them to do all this sort of stuff. Well, we know from watching one of my other videos that, it, it, that the, the God of uh, the Jews is Satan. The Jews say it in the Old Testament. Christ says it in the, in the New Testament. Now, what you have to uh, ask yourselves is, do these people actually believe this? Well, I want to read you another quote here from Menachem Begin. Menachem Begin was the Prime Minister of Israel. Our race is the master race. We are divine gods on this planet. We are as different from the inferior races as they are from insects. In fact, compared to our race, other races are as beasts and animals, cattle at best. Other races are considered as human excrement. Our dis destiny is to rule over the inferior races. Our earthly kingdom will be ruled by our leader with a rod of iron. The masses will lick our feet and serve us as our slaves. <laughs> Not this boy, not this boy. Now you know why I'm saying something about it. When it comes down to it, oh yeah, I'll be fighting it just like everybody else that has any brains in their head. And I won't be fighting my neighbors. I'll be going for the people at the top because the people at the top are allowing all of this shit to come into my country. What is a Jew? What, what the hell is a Jew? Is it a person that, you know, like if you take a look at Israel right now, there's two classes of Jew. There's the Sephardim and the Ashkenazis. Well, the Ashkenazis are not Semitic. They are um, uh, the leftover dregs of the Mongol empires whenever they were um, uh, the, the con uh, trying to conquer the world at, at that point in time. They were homosexual penis worshippers, and they got into the most disgusting garbage. Go to my website, GentileDefenseLeague.com. Take a look at what's going on in the world. Go to my blog, GentileDefenseLeague.net. Look for the blog that I got on there. Can even prayer fix this? Go and look at how your own country is under attack, the morals and the ethics of your country. Do these people have morals? What is it, Jew? Is it a genetic disposition? Well, no. We know that all Jews that claim to be Jews are not genetically um, Semites. The people that hold anti Semite, anytime you say anything about the Jews of Israel, aren't even Semites. The greatest acts of anti Semitism in the world are committed right now by the Jews in the state of Israel. So is it a religion? Well, no, I've talked to Jewish people. A lot of them don't even believe in God. Half of them, full half of them are atheists, and how many Jews are Christians and all that other sort of stuff. So is it a nation? Well, if it is a nation, then it is clear that our countries are under attack by this foreign nation. I've mentioned Erwin Kotler before, our MP, uh, our, our justice MP, who called uh, all of our UN ambassadors racist whenever, uh, uh, anti-Semitic racist, whenever they condemned uh, Israel as an apartheid state at the Durban South African Conference Against Racism. He goes over to a foreign country and calls Canadian racist. Well, our uh, uh, foreign affairs minister unloaded on him and said, that's totally inappropriate for you to do. 
all of these people coming into our country. Well, I've ran on my 10-minute uh, time for rape. Love y'all. Take care. Peace.